So, for those of you who don't know, on Friday, February 2nd, a game called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will release. But I will not review or play the game, and let me tell you why. So if you didn't know already, the Suicide Squad game takes place in a universe called the Arkhamverse. And the Arkhamverse has four games. Well, um, <clears throat> mostly. <clears throat> All four of which are great games. And I personally love the Arkham games. So you might be wondering, if I love the Arkham games so much, why would I not play Suicide Squad? The reason is, like I said even earlier, I love the character of Batman in that universe. And I personally think he's one of the greatest versions of Batman of all time. And let me ask you something. Who would you expect to kill? Batman the most. Now you might think it might be Joker, Clayface, Bane, or heck even Killer Croc, but nope. They chose the person who was going to kill Batman to be Harley Quinn. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Harley Quinn is like the wisp of Batman's arm. And I forget if it was Arkham Asylum or Arkham City, but Batman just went like this and took her out. So let me ask you, do you think it would make that much sense to have Harley Quinn kill him? And call me crazy, but I think that's kind of disrespectful. And the reason for that is not only did the Arkham Trilogy do well for itself, but it also did so well for other games. The combat in the Arkham games was literally the building blocks for the Spider-Man games, at least in my opinion. And also, for some of you guys out there that don't know, once a Green Lantern dies, the ring goes to another person. It doesn't just stay on the dying person. So let me tell you this, King Shark took off Green Lantern's ring, put it on himself, and he's a Green Lantern now. I'm sorry, but aren't Green Lanterns supposed to be chosen? Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure that he ripped off his finger trying to get the ring off, so <laughs> that's not very good. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to be reviewing the game. I mean, hey, I'm sure the graphics are great, and I'm sure the storyline is... All right, but I just think some of the things they did in that game just weren't right to be in the Arkhamverse. But hey, let me know what you think. I hope all of you have a nice day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next one.